Hi guys, it's Jamie from supergrowth.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use my Keyword Feast tool. So what Keyword Feast basically does is um, it automates the process of extracting uh, Google suggestions from their search engine. So basically all that means is you know when you go to Google and you type in something like, I don't know, um, highest mountains or something like that, Google will try and finish off your search query with um, suggestions that pop up. And in this instance, it might be, you know, highest mountains in France, in Brazil, in the world, or whatever. Um, and Keyword Feast basically takes your seed keywords that you initially put in it, and then just grabs as many suggestions as it can um, for completion of search terms containing those seed keywords. So, for example, um, here we've got uh, League of Legends, just a, a popular PC game. Um, and if we were to put that in, then it would bring back, um, you know, the League of Legends best character, League of Legends best skins, etc., etc. And you can generate, you know, hundreds of thousands of long tail uh, queries that you didn't know people were searching for. Probably have little competition um, and they're really easy pickings okay so I'll take you through how to use it so here you put in your your seed keywords um, so at the moment we'll just go with uh, League of Legends um, now you configure there are one option here how frequently you want to hit Google for the suggestions we just leave that at 300 milliseconds that's fine um, so you configure your uh, run options here. So we'll start from the top. Um, basically, uh, generate generate keywords from suggestion results. So say uh, one of the suggestions that comes back from Google is um, League of Legends best skin. Um, well then, once we have that, if that's ticked, we'll then also try and generate suggestions from uh, from the search term League of Legends best skin and so you know every time we get a suggestion back we'll also try and generate more suggestions from the suggestions that we get back from Google if that makes sense um, so that will generate you a lot a lot of keywords um, but we're going to leave it off just for this sample run um, so you can apply regular expressions to each result that we get back um, so don't worry if you don't know what that is, um, but basically you can create a regular expression and then it will say uh, if it matches this condition, you know, like if it contains, I don't know, something random, like if it contains the word best or free, then ignore it, otherwise accept it. So you can apply, you know, any kind of condition that you want on the results that we get back with that. Um, if you want to exclude certain keywords, um, so, you know, any suggestion that comes back, if it contains, I don't know, like, um, you know, there's certain keywords that you don't want to target, um, then you can put them in there. Um, uh, keyword suggestion character depth. So, you'll see this kind of working once we start the run, but basically, um, how, how this works is it kind of simulates you typing... Uh, in this example, League of Legends into Google, and it'll put space A, and then see what comes back for suggestions beginning with A, um, and then it'll move on to B, and then it'll move on to C, D, blah, 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 all the way through the alphabet. And if you change the keyword suggestion depth, then it'll do A, 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 B, A, C, you know, A, D, and it eventually it'll get to Z, and then it will go B, A, B, C, B, D, you know, so that's a lot of different uh, combinations of characters to get as many suggestions back from Google as possible. If you really want some really long tails, you know, that have got like really little competition, you know, then bump that up. Um, if you want just the main long tails, then I'd keep it at one. Um, now, an option that does accompany that, if you've got the keyword suggestion depth cranked right up, um, you know, two, three or above, really, 
um, then quite often I tick that it's basically sometimes um, if you put in you know something like that into Google if it hasn't got any long tails that it's you know any any suggestions rather that it's a hundred percent kind of sure it kind of sometimes gives you back a best guess um, and sometimes that can be nothing to do with the niche and then if you're uh, generating keywords from suggestion results then you're going to take that suggestion that they bring back which might not be relevant and start generating more suggestions from that suggestion and you might end up with lots of long tails that aren't that relevant so if you are going to do quite um, quite an in-depth one um, to get some real long tails then I normally um, tick that just to make sure that all suggestions that come back are actually relevant um, and here you can customize it um, so if you only want you know, uh, UK suggestions you can set it to google.co.uk um, and if you're fairly certain any of the long tails you're, that you're expecting or hoping to get back don't can uh, you're hoping they don't have numbers or you don't want them numbers and you can select skip numbers um, generally I don't tick that because you'd be surprised what kind of things people search for you know like they like to put you know best something something in 2016 and things like that um, and you wouldn't pick that up if you had skip numbers on okay so that's pretty much all the options um, let's just give it a run um, and I'll show you once we've got a, a few results I can show you another little feature um, that I built in to alert you of new um, new trends in your niche that people are searching for okay so if we start that we can now see here you know what it's typing into Google um, to get all these suggestions back um, so normally that run to the end and stop. But I'm just going to stop it there so I can show you another feature. So now we've got um, we've done all the way up to Z. Uh, no, that's not right. Oh yes, it is because we're not skipping numbers. So it's about to do um, zero to nine. Um, so I'm going to show you the new, this little feature that will alert you with um, new search trends now. So say we, we ran this, let's pretend we've got full result back now. Um, we're going to mark that as our initial set. And we can view what our initial set is at any point there. And then a week later, we want to check if there's any new trends. So what we'll do is we run um, you know, the same, put the same seed keywords in, let it run, let it run to the end, um, and then because we didn't let them run before this finish, there'll be a difference in the keywords, and this should alert us to that. So if we now run this result set against our initial result set here. Um, you can now see that these are all the uh, new suggestions between those two runs um, and that's really handy for finding uh, new search terms that people are putting into Google you know like um, new you know, new products in your niche that you weren't aware you know, were becoming popular um, Okay, so um, and you, you can export them here. Um, that's that's pretty much it, really. Um, so, as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if there's anything you want making, you think it's a good demand for, head over to supergrowth.com and, and find me an email. Um, and I hope you find some some great long tails.